Hi people, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment and this is going to be a basic lesson on how to import a character. Use the animation pack from the marketplace and how you can change your character from the third person for your character that you have imported to change the default, uh, the default pawn class to that character. So let's do this really quick. I have created my character folder so I'm going to import my character really quick. It's gonna be the soldier. So I'm gonna import this, the mesh, the skeletal mesh. Uh, I'm not gonna import the animation, so I'm just gonna choose the skeleton of Hero TPP for the animation starter pack. So I'm gonna import all. And it's importing my soldier character. <clears throat> so I got a couple of errors here because of the bones nothing serious so now that I got my character inside I'm gonna go to the animation starter pack folder I'm gonna go to the character folder and I'm oh first of all I'm gonna delete the character that we have inside our blueprint our project my bad <coughs> and we're gonna start uh, using the player start that we have here to spawn our character that's gonna be ASP character from the animation starter pack from the marketplace so I'm gonna get inside that blueprint and I'm going to go into the viewport and I'm gonna choose the character here and I'm gonna change it to the soldier and it comes by default with a uh, ASP hero TPP and a blueprint because we chose that skeleton to be used on this character so as you can see is using its animation so now we need to change it to our default pawn class. A lot of people don't know how to do this. And this is really simple. Just go to the world set, your project settings. Uh, my bad, world settings. Go to your world settings here. Go to the game mode. Go on the game mode. Be sure to, to have chosen what game mode is going to be uh, you're going to be playing. If you got a third person blueprint project, it should, uh, it should be on third person game mode. So from here, on the selected game mode, uh, toggle that and on the default pawn class you need to choose ASP underscore character that is the one that we are using right now so now that we have that already uh, selected as the default pawn class it should work well, there we go so now he is spawning with the player start using its own animations as you can see uh, so if I choose to move around the, the player star, let's say that I, maybe I want to put it up here. So I'm going to hit the N key. Where is it? Oh, there we go. There we go. So I should spawn up there. There we go. So quick, easy, clean, and really fast. Uh, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Hope to see you guys in another lesson. Bye-bye.